Salut, c'est Rachel de Meo. What's this weird cheek rubbing greeting in France? What's it for? Who does it? What's appropriate or not? How many? Which side do you start on? Discover la bise. La bise, well, it's simply a greeting that we exchange not just in France, but in other French speaking countries around the world. But when you really look at it, come on, check it out. Does it look like you're really giving a bise a kiss? As in like an actual kiss? Like even if it's on the cheek? No, not really. It's more like a cheap cheek rubbing experience where you're not really rubbing, but you're just kind of touching barely the cheek of a person and you blow a kiss in the air and that's a greeting. I know to a lot of you that may seem strange but when you were born and raised doing that it is just normal. So when do we do it? We really can do it when we say hi to a person or when we say bye but who does the bees? Well it could be people that know each other that are friends it could be family members, and it could be people that you meet as mutual, as through a mutual friend. So little by little, as your um, relationship or friendship possibly develops, you would start doing the bees when you say hi or when you say bye to somebody. Obviously, when you're at a big party, it can take a while, right? So what's appropriate? Well, a guy and a girl can do the bees, totally appropriate. Two girls can do the bees, totally appropriate. With a guy, it really is based on your relationship more than anything. You might just say hi, or nowadays I guess it's more of like a elbow shake or whatever, but two guys can also do the bees. Trust me, my American husband found it very weird when my childhood friend ventured out to him 60 years, 16 years ago to give him his first bees. Well, and here's another one. Um, how many do you give? Hmm. Sorry to disappoint you, but actually it depends on the region that you live in. So depending on where you are at in France, or in other places in the French speaking world, you're gonna give a different number. Confusing, right? That's why they have an actual map that showcases how many visas you would give but depending on the geographical area. For instance, up in Paris, you could give two, but in some extended places, you'd give four. In the south of France, where I was born and raised, we give three, but just an hour away, I was born in Nîmes, that's, you'd give three. In Marseille, you give two. Confusing? I get it, but you can get to know that. And then another question that should be posed is, well, what, where do you start? Do you start on the left? Do you start on the right? Hmm. Again, it depends on the region. And you learn this little by little, and even us Frenchies, we kind of joke about it because sometimes you have friends from other places and you start on the wrong side or you give an extra one. And there are many videos that are done on that that showcase how funny this experience and this greeting can be. But it also shows a certain proximity to that person, and that's what matters. So there you have it, folks. That's the bees for you. How about you go and test it out and practice? If you're in a Beltier Academy class, you're probably already doing that when you meet up with some of the practice students that you are regularly conversing in French. Try it out.